Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part two of a three part series I have going on my channel and that is all the costumes for the Nightmare Before Christmas. So if you missed part one, that's where I did Oogie Boogie and the Mayor. And then in today's video, you are going to see Lock, Shock and Barrel, which are known in the show as Halloween's finest trick or treaters. So for each of these costumes, I just picked up some pajamas from Amazon and I'm sure you guys could find these really anywhere. I just found a plain red pair, a plain gray pair, and then I found a light purple dress. So if you can get your hands on those items, then you are good to go. For Barrel, which is a skeleton kid, all I'm doing is cutting out some bone shapes on some felt and I will be hot gluing these onto his shirt. So he has two on either side of his arms and then he also has two down each leg. So I cut eight out of the same shape. And then for his rib cage, I just made this little shape right here. And I made six of them, so three on each side. And then a couple of these little circle bones that are going down the center. One thing with the legs, I made sure to start under the crotch area, just because with this specific set, the shirt hung down pretty far. And so if I had them up a little bit higher, you wouldn't be able to see them. So now I'm moving on to the masks. I picked up all of these masks at Spirit. I actually ordered these. However, I went to a Spirit that was about five miles past the one that's really close to us and they had them in stock there. So I was a little bit bummed. I didn't just go and search at different ones. So you should be able to find these masks. They still had a ton of them the last time I went. And I'm just going to make them look more like the actual masks in the movie. So all I did with Beryl was I painted his teeth yellow and then I gave everything a black outline. So his eyes, his nostrils, and his teeth all have black outlines and then his teeth are yellow. And then with the witch, this is actually almost identical to the color of the witch mask. The only difference I noticed is she has black lines and all her outlines are black. So that's the only thing I did on her mask. Now moving on to Shock's dress. The only thing I'm doing here is adding a darker purple scallop look on the top. So I'm just cutting out five of those and then with some hot glue, I will just be gluing these to the top of the dress. I picked up this witch hat at our thrift store and I picked up some lavender felt and I really am kind of embarrassed to even show this tutorial because I don't even know what I did here. I just really winged it. I did not think this through at all and I'm sure there are better ways to add fabric to a witch hat. So I'm sure if you looked up another video specifically about making a witch hat, you probably could find a better tutorial because I really don't even know what I did here. But maybe if you just watch, you'll get a few ideas. Like I'm just folding this fabric over and gluing it to the hat. And after I have all this fabric on, I cut it around the base of the point of the hat. 
And then I'm going to add more fabric around, again, guys, just with some hot glue. Like I said, you guys, there probably is something a lot better than what I'm showing you here. <laughs> Now to hide these seams, I just got some more fabric and I rolled it up a little bit and then I'm going to hot glue this around the bottom and this definitely helped it look a little bit neater. This dark purple is again that same felt that I use for the scallops on the dress and I feel like this ties the dress and the hat in together. Now grabbing a pack of those felt wires, I am just kinking them a little bit and I only use one pack. You can find these at Walmart or at Dollar Tree and I'll be hot gluing these into the hat which gives it that nice squiggly hair that she has. And that is it for this video. As you can see here, I did nothing to the lock costume. It's simply just a red outfit with that mask. The mask matched perfectly to the movie, so I didn't think it needed anything done. The only thing I added was he's wearing some black gloves. I will also add, I did spray Beryl's hair green because that's how it is in the movie, and I sprayed Locke's hair red. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go back and watch part one of this series if you missed the mayor and the Oogie Boogie costume, and then stay tuned to see the video of all the variations of Jack. Thanks again so much for watching. If you have not yet hit that subscribe button, make sure you do that and we will see you guys in the next video.